Welcome back. It is time for a force for good. A local nurse has been named a national lung cancer hero for her commitment to detect lung cancer early to advocate for patients as well. So Carolyn Baggett is one of four people nationwide to receive the Cure Media Group's 2020 Lung Cancer Heroes Award. Congratulations to you. I saw you in the hallway. I didn't even realize you were a hero. You need to wear a cape. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely deserve this. You know, my father died of lung cancer. It was 11 years ago now, and it is just a devastating disease that ravishes your body if you do not find it early. Yes, and that's typically it's found late stage in stage four when the survival rate is very poor. Yeah, so, and I mean, what's great about this is your program has screened 10,000 people for lung cancer, detected 129 lung cancers, many of those in the early stages. Mm -hmm. And as you said, that is key. So many go undetected until it's just too late. So can mm -hmm. you explain why that is? Because typically lung cancer doesn't show symptoms until it's later stage. So we find it early stage when it's teeny tiny, um, stage one, and that's when patients have zero symptoms. And I think it's kind of confusing to patients. They feel like they should have symptoms and then go get screened, but that's not the case at all. Right. So who should get screened? I mean, that's the thing is if you don't have the symptoms, you're not doing it for that reason. Talk about maybe some of the risk factors besides smoking, because we know that one. So if you are age 55 to 77 and you have any smoking history, I would contact your primary care doctor to see if you're eligible. Um, it's pretty specific with the smoking history, but your primary care doctor can help you and the insurance covers it at 100%. Similar to a mammogram, you go get a mammogram every year when you don't have any symptoms of breast cancer. You go get your lung cancer screening when you have zero symptoms of lung cancer. Right, I, and so tell me, because I do know people who have developed lung cancer and they never were smokers. Is that kind of an anomaly? Or are there some things that maybe you can look into and say maybe I should get screened as well? So there's only 85% of patients that are, were smokers that develop lung cancer. The other 15% are non-smokers. Um, and there's many risk factors. Um, and some people have zero risk factors and they develop it. Um, so we do have a self-pay option for lung cancer screening if they're concerned. Um, but we do, it is, mostly we're looking for smokers that's mm -hmm. the big yeah. anybody and even people who have quit many years ago we still watch them for 15 years wow. because it can develop later yeah that's that's a good point so you um what motivated you to develop the lung screening cancer program i was the lung cancer nurse navigator so i helped patients through their journey of cancer care from diagnosis to treatment and it just broke my heart to see these patients that were stage four over and over again um, it's a devastating diagnosis for them and their families. So when Leanne Mango asked me to develop a lung cancer screening program, I was thrilled because I got to meet patients who were stage one and who I knew could be cured and lead a fulfilling life. So that is a blessing. Mm -hmm. I can only imagine. And I know the goal at MD Anderson, it is to end cancer. Yes. So you are doing just that, trying to get people before it's too late. So what does this award mean to you? I am very blessed to be recognized for my um, support to lung cancer patients. Um, just being able to see, to meet patients who are stage one is definitely uh, rewarding enough for me. Um, but I, I mean, I didn't do this alone. We have hundreds of Baptist Health team members who assist with this because we do lung cancer screenings in Nassau and Beaches and Clay County. Um, so it's the primary care doctors, the referral coordinators, schedulers, authorization team, marketing and business development, um, imaging centers, CT technologists, Baptist MD Anderson leadership, like Dr. Putnam, the mm -hmm. medical director, yeah. all of these team members have helped support this and they all contribute to helping these lung cancer patients. Well, you nailed it because you cannot be a superhero without a sidekick. Yeah, I know, so, <laughs> I have a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, you have a bunch of them and they are just as fierce as, and important. Thank you for talking with us and congratulations. Thank you for having me. And we'll be back after the break.